right now. Good evening. First on Fox, you could call it talking back legally. A Burlington teen is suing her high school principal and superintendent. The 16-year-old says school leaders violated her constitutional and civil rights when they removed her as class secretary for using bad language on an internet blog. Fox 61's Lori Perez joins us live now from Lewis Mills High School with more on this real-life legal lesson. Lori. This is a high school, but for Avery Dunninger, it might as well be a law school. She is quickly learning about her legal rights and the Constitution. Now, we want to tell you that in order to report this story, we've had to include some strong language. Jam Fest is canceled due to the douchebags in central office. Avery Doniger is willing to say she could have chosen better words to blog with. She was frustrated that the battle of the band she'd spent months planning was in jeopardy, and she vented about it in an online journal. These are pictures of the Jam Fest when it eventually did happen. I definitely expressed it in the wrong way. You know, it was an unsavory term. I shouldn't have said it. But she maintains shouldn't have said it is different than doesn't have the right to. The teen wrote the comments at home on her personal computer. But the principal took away Doninger's position as class secretary after reading the blog. Her attorney says administrators have no legal authority to punish students for private online comments. Furthermore, he says when she and friends tried to protest by wearing these t-shirts supporting free speech, her free speech was stifled again. What's particularly ironic is not only was the fact that punitive measures based upon a First Amendment issue, but the punishment itself involved uh, First Amendment. Dunninger also lost an opportunity to give an all-class speech and hold class office again. All of it, the principal tells Fox 61, a privilege, not a right. High school principal Carissa Niehoff wouldn't go on camera today but told us she'd repeatedly spoken to Doniger about appropriate use of the internet and appropriate behavior as a class officer. Only thing is Doniger tells us another class officer responded to her blog calling the superintendent Paula Schwartz a dirty whore. That student kept their position and recently received a school award. Niehoff would only tell us the students involved in the blog have been dealt with. Now, Doniger says what she thinks at the heart of this is, is that the principal and the superintendent were upset with her because she was trying to get the community involved and she was urging parents to call into the superintendents and the principal's offices to support her jam fest. Now, she would like to be class secretary again. She's, she'd also like the opportunity to give a class speech. Live in Burlington, I'm Lori Perez, Fox 61 News at 10.